Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Just a quick video, I wanna share my end of season reward chest with you. I, uh, I've been off for sickness reasons for the last several days. So I'm just cranking out a couple videos while my voice still recovers. And that'll cover me through the weekend, I hope. And uh, by next Monday, I hope that I can be back doing my lives, do my daily content again. Uh, thanks guys for your support in the comments and section. I appreciate you. Okay, let's get it. I have reward chests on my main as well as on my secondary account. We'll do my secondary account first because they are not quite as good. Big changes coming to the reward chests announced in the recent town hall. I'm doing a separate video on what that'll mean and why that might mean you now is the time to move to modern. 10, 20, 30, 35. 35 diamonds. Ooh, 73. Ooh, five. Love it. Gold foils, another three. Some, mer some good merits. Some summoners. Not a lot of multipliers on the cards, but some good SPS in there. Ooh, another 50. That's a couple hundred SPS. Love it. This is a this is my secondary account. It has about 10,000 SPS on it. And so I love seeing that SPS grow. Some of these good cards. Teresha's Grunt I don't love, but a gold foil I'm always happy to see. Um, this one I haven't been playing as recently and as much. So my summoners being, you know, more copies of these are going to be really impactful. I need to get these up and going in the next six months before they pull away from these soulbounds. Because they are planning on pulling away and start reissuing a new set altogether. Okay, let's go into Infidel. These ones are champion chests. Big changes to the 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 way that the rewards are distributed in Splinterlands. And you're gonna find that right now, Wild pays quite well for being automated. You can run a bot, you can use Xbox or Archmage or whatever bot you're into, and it's not a problem. And uh, that's what I do because I just don't have the time to play the game. But I'm gonna make the time because the changes that are coming are massive. The available SPS within the game is gonna be divided by the number of players and the number of battles. And the number of wins you get is gonna determine how many SPS you get. But the one major thing that's gonna change in how the rewards are calculated that everybody needs to know and that probably will push active players into modern will be the fact that the loot chest will no longer work in the same way and you won't get SPS through them. And so there'll be card chests and that big change will mean that re rewards in wild, at least from an SPS standpoint, are going to be greatly diminished. I think we have 66 champion chests. Let's just hit reveal all. Good merits, 1500 SPS. Oh, legendary gold foil? No, but that might be enough for Frexy to go to max level. Oh, 14 SPS, 17 SPS. Double epics. Another legendary. Come on, gold foil. No, I have a Musa, I have a max level Musa Saline, so those will be extra copies. Another legendary. Oh, that's gonna be max level Frexy, I think. Another legendary. Here we go. I already have a max Usit. That was a lot of legendaries. I'm very pleased with that. Another 90 SPS, 20 SPS, 15 SPS. Um, I have a max Usit. I have a max Drybone. I have a max Terracious. I, I think I now have a max Phyrexia. Max Riverboat. No with adjust. I don't have max. And with these being gold foil, that might actually upgrade me. Some good SPS in here. Like, uh, not me. Not probably not 200 cop, uh, SPS, but like 150. I know I could check quickly, but I don't want to open up Splinter cards. Yeah, okay, quickly, I want to check and see if that Phyrexia is leveled up, and then we'll wrap. So that's going to be a big difference. When when you're not getting SPS from those loot chests, and you're just getting cards, it's going to be far more lucrative from a zeros and ones dollar income perspective to play in Modern, because the, there's fewer players sharing that massive reward pool, and uh, the chests which were essentially booing what the wild rewards were capable of providing you is going to really diminish. Just want to check that epic. Yeah, I think this is only bringing me up to equal with my regular foil edition but that's good because if my gold foil is the same level as my regular foil then i'll use the gold foil and then i'll get the bonuses from the gold foil buff uh okay and i wanted to check that legendary yeah here we go max level boom this is this is one i've been waiting for i can't remember what the max level does but i remember thinking it was quite powerful let's find out look at that five damage output the weapon trainer is not new the reach is not new the reflection shield i don't think is new so the increase was damage output and hit points and armor. So it's it's a pretty serious upgrade. One extra melee, one extra armor, one extra life. And uh, yeah, it's a strong reach monster. I love it in the guild brawls because you can slap that in the second position and throw the gladiator. This one, Crash Wanderer, the speed, the thorns. You put weapon training on this thing and suddenly it might get some bloodlusts. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I hope you're having an amazing day. God bless.